Hello and welcome to another video tutorial on unit conversions and this video is still related to our previous videos on the ocean of the earth and in this video we're trying to calculate the mass of the gold ions in the ocean no given that the concentration of gold ions in the ocean is 1.1 times 10 to the negative 5 milligrams per liter or that's parts per million as well and the molar mass of the gold that we will be needing in the calculation later is 1.9 uh, sorry 196.967 grams per mole then in the previous video we already know that the volume of the whole ocean is 1.292 times 10 to the 21 liters that's a lot of volume okay and the concentration with the negative exponent means it's a little concentration so let's try to calculate the mass of the gold ions given this concentration okay so we now have outlined the solution we start with the concentration which is 1.1 times 10 to negative 5 milligrams per liter or that's parts per million then we multiply that to the volume of the ocean so that we can get the milligrams of the gold in that concentration and knowing that the volume is 1.292 times 10 to the 21 liters so as you can see the units are placed in the proper position for them to cancel out all right sorry for that then let's see the cancellation of the unit liter okay so we're now left with the unit in milligrams which is a unit of mass but in this case we're asked to calculate for the mass of the gold ions in kilograms and after that we're asked to convert that into the unit metric tons okay so let's do that then for us to convert milligrams into the unit kilograms we have here two blanks which means we need two equivalent statements that will be transformed into conversion factors all right so let's, let's remind ourselves that one gram is 1000 milligrams and one kg or kilogram is that's 1000 grams so let's use this equivalent statements in our conversion factor and we have now written the equivalent statement in the conversion factor form remember that the unit should be in the proper places for them to cancel out okay so the unit milligrams will not cancel out since it's in the denominator we're now left with the unit grams now the unit will cancel out as well and we are left with the unit kilograms which is one of our desired units so let's do the calculation now and after calculating all the values we end up with 1.4 times 10 to the positive 10 kilograms now remember before you report your final answers you always have to look back at the given and check the correct number of significant figures now originally if you do the calculation it will give you more than 1.4 in the digits but we already have shown here the round the correct number of significant figures based on the given which has only two significant figures okay and the next task is for us to convert the kilograms into metric tons so there's one more equivalent statement that we need and that equivalent statement is one kilogram is equal to 0 0.001 metric tons or one thousand of a metric ton is one kilogram okay so we use this equivalent statement into the conversion factor form remember the unit should be in the proper places for them to cancel out so as you can see the unit kilograms will now cancel out and we are left with our desired unit which is in metric tons so let's do the calculation and the answer is 1.4 times 10 to the positive 7 metric tons so as you can see you simply uh, multiply the kilogram answer that we had earlier with 0 0.001 so that means we have to move the decimal place of this originally into three decimal places so that becomes 1.4 times 10 to the positive 7 metric tons so the answer for this video for the kilogram the mass of gold in kil of the gold ions in the ocean in kilograms 1.4 times 10 to the 10 kilograms and that is 1.4 times 10 to the 7 metric tons of gold ions in the ocean so that's all for this video thank you for listening and continue learning